Hello and welcome back to Assembly Plan Maintenance. This is Farooq from Cube ERP. So in this session, we are going to see how to create a maintenance order. There are a couple of ways to create a maintenance order. Uh, so first one we are going to see is how to create a maintenance order out of a notification. So now we have a strategy against a single cycle plan is there uh, against which we have got some notification and a technician is on site he is doing some cleaning on an equipment so this is a notification that i have out of a single cycle plan this is for just for a cleaning of the motor but i mean once he's there or a pump and then once he's there on site he notices that there is some issue is maybe he can see that there is some sort of leakage or the motor is running hot or there is some extra noise so let's say he says uh, motor is running hot extra noise needs to be checked so he does this one uh, he saves it his comment in the in the description once he has saved it Once he has saved it, he can just, uh, so what we want is we want to create a plant maintenance order. So what we can do uh, is like we have a field here which is called order. This is a create button. So once we press this one, it will give us a new window. So the order that we are going to create now is with reference to a notification. So we have got order type, planning plan, business area, work center, which are all being, you should be copied from your equipment or the notification. And now it will open a new window to create the order. So it says notification it is giving us a notification number, the one we were, we were having earlier. So we can change this one and say, motor running hot and noisy okay so let's just save it without doing anything so that we get an order number so once we have saved it we will get the order number which will say this is order created with reference to notification number this one two one nine five. So it's looking at yeah. It, okay, there's some sort of error. I think the material which is assigned might not have the MRP views, which is why it has it cannot check the availability. But anyway, I'm going to change the materials later on. So an order has been created with notification. So let's write down this number eight two zero zero two seven with notification number two one nine five. Save this thing and then let's go back. So now what we have is we you can see once we were in the order, we had a different transaction code, but now again we are back into the notification so we are in the notification change transaction which is IW22 so notifications are starting with IW2 series while the orders are starting with IW33, 32 and things like that so let's go back into the order IW32 So this is the transaction IW32 for order change. Now in the we are in the order. Before I do anything else, I will go into components. I want to change the components. I am going to take this thing out, delete it, and I am going to put some say 
I've got some other material called O-ring gasket. So let's say five O-rings, two gaskets. We'll put item category as L because these are these are stock items. A slot triple zero one, and the plant is one thousand. Go back into operations. Uh, let me change the operation. So the operation, let's say, change gasket and O-rings. So let's schedule it. Okay, no issues with this one, and then we can look at the calculator to see if there is any cost. So the cost has been calculated. Availability will also be, we can check the availability of the materials if you want to do that uh, into the component. So material availability. Just going to check the material availability. So it says all materials in order are available. So we have already gone to operations, we have also done components, we have also been to the costs tab. So let's see if the, what is the settlement rule here. Go to settlement rule with default. So let's put a settlement rule which is a cost center and give a cost center. So what we are saying here is, I mean this cost center 4216 will be the total with the full receiver of all the costs. So we are going to say 100%. So the 100% of cost of this order will be going to this cost center. So once we have done this, we can now, uh, let's take a look if there are any permits. Yeah, there are permits. So it will depend on your installation if you have got perm enabled the permits or you can go without having any permits. So if you have any permits, I mean, it they will not let you release the order unless the permits have been released. So I've done this one, so now I can release the order. So it says order will be released after update. Let me just save it. So once I save it, it will be updated. The status has already changed. So we need to release it uh, because otherwise the subsequent tasks will not be done. So the next step for this one is to do order confirmation, which is done by transaction IW41. This is a confirmation transaction. What we are going to do is we are going to confirm that all the activities which were needed uh, motor has been rectified. In the goods movement we can see what are the okay. I think what is the problem was uh, let me go back into the order IW32 because I miss to add the back flash icon indicator in the components. So once I add this one, it will be, these materials will be, components will be visible in IW41 screen. So let's go back. Motor has been rectified. Goods movement. So you see these are back here. We can also add another, another material also if you need say oil, 5 liters of oil have been used. Oil is not maintained. So let me pick up some other material. Let's say cotton waste. So some of the cotton waste has been used in this 
operation. I say one kg only, five kg is too much. And uh, let's go back to the main screen. You say final confirmation, no remaining work. And once we post it, so it will do goods issue, post goods movements in the background for all the three materials that we have added in the components. So the confirmation has been done. We have got a message at the bottom, confirmation saved, goods movement 3, field 0. So all the goods movement have processed. So uh, we can go back and see this order in IW43. Uh, if you want and also we can see the goods movement in MB51 if you want to see. So uh, for this session I will stop here and in the next session we will continue with this order to process, do the variant calculation, variance calculation, uh, technical, comp technical completion and then business completion. So I will see you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.